Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Let's Play. I am making a tier 2 rocket. And there she is. So a tier 2 rocket doesn't get me any rewards but it will get me to Ares or Mars. Uh, so there's also Mars is also a barren wasteland. There is no natural life, no dungeons, and only a single featureless structure to be found. It is also only known source of ostrum, a highly heat-resistant material. So, there's that. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I have this digital miner. Um... I made a while back on accident, but uh, it might come in useful, so I'm going to go ahead and just do this. Instead of my typical uh, laser drills that I've been doing recently, the only thing is is that this means we're going to have to keep going back to Mars and like moving the miner around, which is okay, but eh, it just gets us something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to probably need another flux point. I've got some universal cable already. Um, probably another set of network stuff. And then we'll just jump back and forth on that. Probably another matter receiver. to jump back and forth with. Um, so let me grab those and then a crafting grid. This is just gonna be like my standard, this is what I take with me to go to do stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to need a wireless transmitter and some range extenders. So we'll get all of that cooked up, and I'm not going to sit through the whole get to and from Mars, fuel up the rocket, and do all that. I will meet you on Mars. Alright, the red planet, Mars, here we are. I am descending, it looks like a little bit faster than I would. I think the gravity is roughly the same as Earth out here. But I do want to go slow because I don't want to explode like I accidentally did on my space station. Alright, so now that I can see the ground, I will go slow. Alright, and already I see a small structure over there. So let's head that way and see what's up. Yeah, the gravity is definitely not as bad as it was on the moon. I am jumping a little bit farther, but I'm falling a lot faster. This looks like it has the exact same terrain generation <laughs> as the moon. Alright, is there a way into this? Yes. Oh, there's our first Ostrom block, and there's a chest up here. Full of some alright stuff. So I might as well just make this my base. Like, I, I see no reason to go, like, super far out and make anything. Uh, I'm going to see what these blocks are over here, but then I'm just going to turn around and go back to that structure. Uh, looks like some kind of stone. So this is Mars sand. Uh, need to make some inventory space. I'm just going to put all of this in here for now. This is Cog... Gla 
Alright. What uses do you have? You can just make fancy stuff. Okay, cool. There should also be like Mars stone and stuff like that. I'm assuming. I wish I could have a jetpack out here. I'm sure eventually there's a way to get one. Yeah, Mars stone. Let's just mine. Let's just vein mine a little bit of this real quick. And then we will head back to this little structure because I do just want to use some of this to close in this door. So I can put my oxygen and stuff down. Alright, we're not going to make it look nice right now. I just want to fill this in. Are there aliens out here, I wonder? Or should I say Martians? Does that count as a full block for purposes of oxygen? I'm going to probably say no. I'm just going to close that in. Alright, we will get our... What all did I bring? What all did I leave behind? Matter receiver. I think I left my oxygen stuff at the base. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build this up. I don't think I have my crafting grid. I don't think I brought anything with me. This should get me at least one free transport. So if I put this just right in the middle right here, and then get my charged porter back and link you. I should be able to get home at least once and back because I still need my oxygen stuff I thought I had already crafted this maybe I didn't and then network transmitter needs to go here somewhere I've got so many network transmitters now um didn't put that anywhere yet. Alright, so oxygen stuff is still cooking. Crafting grid I needed. So that's going. Alright, so oxygen generator. So I am also going to need, did I make an ender tank? I don't remember if I did. That's going to need to be blue. For water. Alright, yeah, so one, it pretty much gets me one free transport. Um, except. I didn't grab the stuff that I needed. Dang. Um, okay. So. Let me grab that. So I'm going to go ahead and put network receiver down. Probably just right here in the middle. We're not going to be here long because my plan is to just kind of jump straight to the next planet. 
Uh, but I do need to know what a cryo freezer is. But then we're also going to do uh, the tier three rocket, netherite spacesuits, and a jet spacesuit. Alright, so you are connected. I wonder if I can just. I don't think I can pull power out of you. No. And yeah, I for sure didn't bring my stuff. There's not really a way. I think it, does it just straight kill you? I don't remember what it does if you don't have power running to it. All right, where's my oxygen? Which also isn't gonna work if I don't have power. force power into you cool so I think I'm gonna need to bring my rocket with me and probably just fly back and then we'll start setting this up once I actually get power out here uh, you can sit up here all right so one more trip back to earth And then I'm just gonna fly the rocket back. So we'll come back in just a minute. All right, well, if there's one thing, there's definitely alien life out here. Hopefully it's not super dangerous. interesting all right so we are getting back over to our little home and I've already put my network receiver and everything up so hopefully once we get inside So we're going to go ahead and just put our flux point down here. That will give our matter receiver power so we don't die the next time we come back here. You should have your thing. I don't know why you don't. But we will at least have oxygen in just a second. And it is filling up this whole area. Perfect. It is showing that it's doing 3,000 blocks. So I'm wondering if it's seeping through to outside somewhere but that's fine with me as long as i can yeah cool so let me pick this back up so why is this not receiving 
should be. I, I clicked this thing, took the thing home, put the thing in. Putting to Mars. All right, linked to this. controller and now that's messing everything up. Yeah, okay. That's what I did. I accidentally took that out. Well, I didn't accidentally take it out. I took it out not realizing that it needed to be there. Okay, cool. Um, so now that should get me my stuff on Mars? Yes, okay, cool. All right, and wireless works, wireless works. This is producing oxygen. Oxygen leak detected. So I think it is all of the fact that these stairs are here. Like stuff like this up here. Like the fact that there are slabs and stuff, but that doesn't bother me too much. Um, Yeah, that doesn't bother me too much. It, it works, and like I said, I don't really plan on being out here too much. Uh, let me get some doors. Uh, sort by ID. Two-way synchronize. What, so let me see what a steel sliding door does. So I just need some more steel plates. I need like six of them. Five, six. To get steel sliding doors. open slabs and whatever but that's that's fine it really doesn't bother me um all right so let's get you set up outside so i am gonna need another
let's point because I'm gonna need to take it outside and run power and this you just kind of place it down we give it power So you have power. We need to give you an output, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. So we're gonna configure you. Actually, I'm just gonna start. We'll see what it does. Upgrades, I can do speed, energy. All right, so we'll just do speed and energy right now. Speed, and typically it can hold up to four or eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do energy and speed. Eight and eight. So the only thing else would be to keep it anchored, which doesn't matter. All right, so let's see what all it gets. Okay, so anything I don't want it to mine, I put it in there and put inverse on. Cool. All right, so we just let that run, and then eventually, like I said, we have to move it. So that's the only downside to this. And you're gonna auto eject on. So that means that all of this Mars stuff should be coming into my inventory. And then this can all get processed back at the base. Cool, that seems simple enough. And then once I get enough of the ore that I need to make a tier three rocket, which is Ostrom, we will do that and we will get to the final planet. So. We'll be right back. All right, finishing up on the last two pieces of what I need for a tier three rocket. So we will come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two of these. This, these guys, and nose cone gets me a tier three rocket, which has no rewards. All right, and then a netherite space suit, which I might be able to just go ahead and teach my system how to make. All right, th this is gonna be a bit longer of a process than I thought it was going to, so give me just a minute and we will return. That was a quest. So what do I need to do to get this? Okay, so this is gonna take whatever stuff I can find on Mercury or Venus. Okay. Final tier of spacesuit, in addition to providing oxygen, it also provides flight. While powered with FE, hold space to fly, hold space and control to boost like an elytra. Interesting. All right, so. Space is just chock full of barren wastelands. Mercury and Venus are two more examples of such. Due to their proximity to the sun, a netherite spacesuit is required to not burn up. Both planets have calorite ore, which I'm assuming is what I need to make this stuff. Yeah. All right, so do we want to go to Mercury or do we want to go to Venus? I don't know. We will find out in the next episode where I decide to go because I am going to need to 
do my whole process of like making sure I've got everything that I need to take with me. So we will figure all of that out later. Uh, I also just need to worry about like fueling up this rocket and getting everything taken care of. So we will see you in the next episode later.